Hey golfers, Dave from fit to golf here. Today I'm going to do a review of some clubs that I just made. A uh, review of the Maltby TE Forged club head from the Golf Works. And they've been assembled with uh, an Excalibur graphite shaft. So I'm going to tell you a little bit about the, the heads themselves, the shafts, and then the build, uh, some specifics about how I uh, assembled them. And then we'll take them to the range and, and see how they go. Okay, so in terms of the club head, uh, this is, as, as the name indicates, a forged club. Uh, it has a really nice uh, chrome mirror finish on it. Um, it has a, a cavity back with a lot of uh, weighting underneath um, for forgiveness, but it, but it really looks very classic. It's free from a lot of graphics, which is, which is really nice. Uh, really nice looking club. Uh, you know, my eye is drawn to it right away. Uh, a, uh, I would say thin top line uh, for a game improvement club and looks great at a dress when you set it down behind the ball. It's, it's confidence inspiring but it doesn't have that real thick chunky look that some game improvement clubs have. Um, so that's, that's the details of the club head. So now we're going to talk about the shaft. Um, I'm using the uh, Excalibur uh, graphite shaft, 75 grams, regular flex. I chose this shaft for a couple of reasons. One is it fits my swing. I have kind of a smooth tempo, uh, about 80 to 85 mile an hour swing speed with my 7 iron. And I like that it has a, kind of a middle bend point and a medium tip stiffness. Uh, it fits my swing pretty well. I also like these shafts a lot because they're very consistent. They were within a couple of grams of each other and, and probably two, no more than three um, CPMs on the frequency machine when I, when I measure them all when they came in. So they're very consistent. They also mark the spine and the neutral bend point. Can't see it now because it's covered by the grip, uh, but on the butt under the shaft. And I double check those with a spine alignment tool and also use flat line oscillation to uh, to make sure that I found the spine and orient that in the club at the 12 o'clock position. And they're right on, uh, which I don't always see with graphite shafts. So really great quality shaft, hard to find. Uh, hopefully they'll be back in, uh, in stock soon um, in case you're, you know, you're motivated by this video to build yourself a set. Okay, so in terms of some of the details about the set, um, uh, I like these shafts because they play a little softer to flex with my swing. I like something that's a little softer than regular, and so I uh, frequency match these to all be at 4.5 in terms of, uh, if you look at the scale of the uh, rifle precision uh, flex chart, uh, except for the uh, pitching wedge. I, uh, I, I wanted that a little bit stiffer. That's just my preference. Some people like the pitching wedge to be uh, half a step uh, more flexible. I like it a little stiffer for control. Um, I swing weighted them to be uh, a D1, except for the pitching wedge, which I always bump up a few, and that's uh, swing weighted at D4. Okay, so I think that's all the details about the clubs themselves. Let's go to the range and see how it goes. Okay, back from the range. Um, hopefully I got some good footage there that you can see the, a little bit about the ball flight. Uh, what I find is this to be a medium to, to, um, to medium high ball flight, which is desirable for me. I sometimes struggle to, to get a ball, particularly with the longer irons, to, to land softly. Um, what I found is that um, I can, uh, I'm not very good at drawing the ball, um, but I can, I can intentionally play a fade and I was able to work it in that direction 
very well. Um, I hit a variety of shots, tried to hit low, uh, some punch shots and higher shots and half shots, and uh, very consistent. Uh, they feel like butter. When you, when you hit the center of the face, they feel like butter. You do get some feedback on a miss hit, but it's not punishing, uh, and you still get some distance thanks to that perimeter weighting. Um, the, the shafts just feel great to me. Um, they're just very smooth and responsive and, uh, and very happy with them. Very affordable. I should have mentioned at the start that the, the club head retails for just under $30 and the shafts when you can find them uh, are around twenty dollars a shaft so pretty reasonable you can assemble a really nice club um, for way less than an oem brand so uh, anyway post your comments uh, hit the, hit the thumbs up subscribe if you haven't and uh, look forward to another video soon as always stay positive